Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 amazing DIY food hacks. Not everyone likes cooking, but we all like food. These are 10 amazing food creations you can make at home without any cooking skills. They're amazing and look professionally made, but they can be made by almost anyone. So be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply. Coming in at number 10, we have Galaxy Ice Cream. Imagine merging space and ice cream together. Surely this is something that can only be done by a professional ice cream maker. Well, this can actually be done by anyone. First, fill a bowl up with Cool Whip and add condensed milk. Stir this up and then distribute it into three different bowls. Then grab some red, purple and blue food coloring and add a food coloring to each bowl. After mixing that up, evenly distribute the stirred Cool Whip into one large bowl. Leave this for about 20 minutes and add some edible glitter. After that, freeze it for about 4 hours and there you go, you can enjoy your galaxy ice cream. It's safe to say this ice cream is out of this world. Next up we have Rainbow Oreos. Oreos are great in terms of taste and texture, but they look kind of boring. I mean come on, they're literally black and white. But if you want to make your Oreos look and taste better, then follow these steps. First, grab a pack of Oreos and some vanilla icing. Ice around the side of the Oreos to make the stuffing larger. Then, before the icing goes too dry, roll the Oreos in a bowl of sprinkles. And there you go, you have your very own Rainbow Oreos. You can do this with any type of icing and create many different designs. So have fun and get to eating! Next up we have Ice Cream Sandwiches. Ice cream sandwiches are an awesome snack for when it's hot or if you just want a cold refreshment. But it can sometimes be a pain making them yourself as it's hard to get the perfect ratio of cookie and ice cream. Well, next time you want to make an ice cream sandwich at home, use this trick to do it in seconds. First, grab a tub of ice cream, but instead of using a spoon to scoop the ice cream out, just cut the pre-molded container which is already in the shape of a cookie. Then you can simply remove the container and place the ice cream in between the two cookies. Just be sure to use a serrated knife when cutting through the container, as it's likely made of plastic. Other than that, bon appetit! Next up we have Jello Watermelon. Watermelon is probably the best fruit to eat on a hot summer's day, and Jello is probably the best dessert for the summer season. Well, why not make the ultimate summer food by combining watermelon and Jello? First, cut your watermelon into two equal halves, then scoop out the insides of the watermelon and you'll be left with two melon bowls. After you've done that, grab a bowl and make up some watermelon flavored jello. Then divide the jello mix by pouring one half of the bowl into one side of the melon and the other half into the other side of the melon. Leave them for about six hours to cool, and there you have it, jello watermelons. Next up we have Golden Snitches. If you or your friends are fans of Harry Potter, then you're going to love this DIY food project. We all know that Golden Snitches are the small balls used in the game of Quidditch in Harry Potter. But there's a food item that is perfectly made for transforming into a Golden Snitch. That being the fancy chocolate Ferrero Rocher. For this, you first need to print out a small pair of wings, chosen from dozens of pre-made designs online. Simply take a Ferrero Rocher out of its brown wrapping and then gently peel the sticker off too. Place the wings in the correct position and then stick them back on with the sticker. You can then use these for a Harry Potter themed party or a Harry Potter movie night. And even if you don't like Harry Potter, these do look really cool and taste great. Next up we have Hot Dog Spaghetti. I'm sure we all love hot dogs and spaghetti, but what if you could merge these two great foods together? This creation can make a quick, easy and fun meal for you and your friends in minutes. First, grab a packet of spaghetti and then grab a packet of hot dogs. Cut the hot dogs up into small pieces and stick them through the uncooked spaghetti sticks like a kebab. Then boil some water and insert your spaghetti hot dog kebabs. After a few minutes, your spaghetti hot dog hybrid will be ready to plate up and eat. This hack will cook the hot dogs into the spaghetti. This not only saves time, but is also a delicious combination. Next up we have printed fruit. How can you print any design, including that of a high-end fashion designer, onto fruit? Well, it involves a process called transfer printing. First, print out an image of whatever design you want to be on your fruit. Then get some acrylic gel, a paintbrush, and a spray bottle. Put a thick coating of acrylic gel onto the fruit of your choice. Then press the image inside down onto the fruit and press it flat around the shape of it. After that, allow the image to dry onto the fruit for about 24 hours. When it's dried, spray the fruit with a spray bottle filled with water. And you should start to see your pattern appear on your fruit. You can do this with anything, but I would suggest a fruit with a skin as you cannot eat acrylic gel. 
Next up, we have black burgers. In Japan, many popular restaurants sell trendy black burgers, but these stores can be hard to find out of Japan, and the ones that are out there are often expensive. But there's a better way. First, either make or buy a burger, then use black food coloring on the buns and the patty as you cook them. But be sure to leave the lettuce and tomato their regular colors to create the awesome effect. Then grab a bowl and pour some ketchup and black food coloring into it. Stir the ketchup up and then merge all of these elements together to create a black burger. These may creep your friends out, but they'll be pleasantly surprised when they bite into them. Burger King actually makes these black burgers for Halloween. But in my opinion, these DIY black burgers look a lot better. Next up we have blue Nutella. Who doesn't love Nutella for breakfast in the morning? You're probably used to eating Nutella on bread or pancakes. Well, for this hack, all you need is a Nutella jar and a bit of Nutella. First, take some raspberries, Nutella and milk and mix them together in a blender. Then add some light blue food coloring. After that, insert it back into the jar and top it with whipped cream and a little more blue food coloring. This will create a cool fruity looking chocolatey drink that's perfect for summer. This will also wow your friends and make you look like a cooking genius. And the great thing about using a Nutella jar is that you don't have to wash up after. Next up we have Gummy Popsicle. Everyone loves a refreshing popsicle, but that might seem a little bland. To solve this, think outside of the box and add something you'd never see in popsicles. Gummy Bears. First, grab some popsicle molds and fill them to the top with gummy bears. Then open up a can of Sprite and pour it into the popsicle molds with the gummy bears. Leave the popsicles to freeze for a few hours and you'll have some delicious transparent popsicles with gummy bears inside them. These popsicles not only look amazing but also taste delicious. Definitely try these out on a hot summer's day. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the best DIY food hack. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe!